So one of the biggest fan requests have actually been honored regarding ones in this game and trust me your hype level wherever that may be is about to go even more off the charts. Now some people are also now able to play the game and there is a free gigabyte update available to download right now. The official account has also confirmed when everyone else will be able to play and a guy who basically dropped a ton of info claiming to be the son of a dev for this game has been caught by WB Games. We have lots to get through in this video so if you could drop a like it would be greatly appreciated but turn that like into a dislike if you get to the end and it turns out you didn't enjoy the video but a like does help a ton. Now some people can play the game and that is if your delivery driver was kind enough to do an early drop because it seems people that got the disc version of the game are now now getting deliveries and of course that has just more or less translated to loads of footage going around the internet. Now the people who are playing this game have shown the game to run super smooth and I'm talking as smooth as butter which is great to see but there is one small problem which I'll mention in a moment. Now some big info was dropped regarding one customization in one of those videos. Of course this is something that tons of us have been asking for and all we were told is that there is no official info regarding that and how we should ultimately just wait. Well, it turns out there is indeed one customization in Hogwarts Legacy and it does vary from choosing the length of the wand, the type of wood and a few other bits. Now does this affect the power? Absolutely not and you should just know you can only choose your wand once in this game so be wise on how you customize. Now for the most part what's I think really interesting here is this confirmation does lead me back to a theory or an idea I guess you could say that I had a few days ago which is where one customization was teased I was asking whether or not it would make sense to actually see in the near future some sort of drop where you can basically customize the wand in the sense of different types of skins because hey we know we can customize our brooms so skins for ones as a potential drop randomly after the game maybe when dlcs get released let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below as to whether or not it would make sense or if it's something you genuinely do want to see in this game now regarding v1 customization i guess screen as a whole in terms of what you see a lot of people are saying that well let's just say there's mixed opinions for the most part now to me it looks really really cool to a few other people they are saying that it doesn't really look that great or fun and how ultimately it does look boring but in my opinion I think it's enough for what it is again customization does you know play a very big role on most things but when it comes down to ones and stuff of course there's only so many things to customize on it so for the most part from what I feel anyway I think that from what they show it's basically all of the relevant stuff but again that's gonna have multiple different opinions on it now of course if you have the digital pre-order download you can play on the 7th of February and now the official Hogwarts accounts posted this screenshot with times on when it will be available depending on where you live. Now in a tweet by PlayStation Game Size it was actually revealed that Hogwarts Legacy will be 79.5 gigabytes on the PlayStation 5 and that pre-downloading will be available on February the 5th for the deluxe edition purchases and on February the 7th for those who purchased the base game. Now giving at least some time for the download to be complete of course before it comes out. Now while Hogwarts Legacy will take up a sizable amount of your storage, especially if one has not actually got any other storage, then you know it's definitely something you want to consider but for the most part it's actually smaller than a game like say Forspoken even if it's not by that much and also when a game is this size of course there's a lot going on inside that game for the most part. So again clear up your storage if you haven't already if you can get some additional storage then by all means go ahead and do that as well. Now circling back to this game running as smooth as butter a few people have picked up on one issue which I think is important to address. So the only quote unquote bug that most people have noticed is the same audio bug for the main character's voice that we actually saw a couple of weeks ago 
show, but it's very, very, very likely that the day one patch will resolve this. So it's a small issue, but nothing to be majorly concerned about if it's something that you have seen and are genuinely curious as to, you know, whether or not it is going to be fixed or not. Now, remember the Hogwarts Legacy Insider claiming to be a director's son? Well, WB Games have stepped in the way. In a now nuked Reddit post, a user who went by the name, pretty simple and effective, Hogwarts Insider, alleged that through their connections to their father, who's supposedly the design director, Chad Liddell, that they'd been able to assist in a QA on the game. And while a non-disclosure agreement partially bound them, they'd been permitted to host a limited Q&A session revealing details about the game and through that thread they answered tons of questions pertaining to everything from the play customization right down to PC performance and now at the time of making this video none of what they revealed remains visible. Sometimes you never know if it's true or not. Was this reddit user legit? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. My take is no but hey why it's removed is also questionable for the most part, but overall, I highly doubt it though. Now, as I say, of course, people are now officially playing the game, so there is no doubt we're going to get tons of more information over the next couple of days, and especially the weekend, so it's probably a good idea to be weary if you do not want spoilers. What is going to be interesting, however, though, is the new information that does get revealed on the game, right? So what's going to be interesting is finding out more things, similar to what we've just found out about the one customization but one thing that i think everyone should very much be conscious of is what you are seeing technically whether it be streamed on youtube twitch wherever it may go is technically not the cleaned up version of the game in the sense of that day one patch will basically fix all the little bugs and glitches that you do see in the game so if you see something like the speech just know it's very likely that the day one patch will actually fix that now overall we are finally just around the corner regardless of whether you're going to be getting 72 hour early access or whether or not you're going to be playing on February the 10th the game is finally here and the big question that I think a lot of people are going to be asking once they complete the game is what happens after now what's interesting is where we are seeing this early footage and gameplay etc and the flaws basically are showing to be non-existent it's a great sign because the game has you know a lot of anticipation behind it it's already been compared to the launch of cyberpunk of course which as we all know or at least most of us anyway it did not exactly go as smooth as they probably intended so it seems touch wood or knock on wood as you may wish to say that this game is potentially going to have a smooth launch which then leads to okay what happens after the game in terms of a longevity perspective will we get dlc content for this game will we not get dlc content for this game will it be free dlc content will it be paid dlc content that's something that I've genuinely had a discussion with quite a few people about. Personally, I've always said that I would much rather paid DLC content simply because we've seen free DLC content for so many different games be released with the intent to still keep the player base and it never really goes as well as they planned and of course they make free content and it's not feasible for the actual game devs as a whole so from a revenue standpoint I'd actually happily pay for a really good DLC for the game and actually support the publishers developers etc for the game so they can continue to create more content but are we even going to get a DLC for this game leave your thoughts on whether you think we are or not in the comments below and the gameplay for this game is going to get very interesting because we know multiple endings and there are some horrible things that you can do in the game so i've listed four horrible or evil things whatever you wish to say that you can do in hogwarts legacy so check out the video that you see on screen right now 